Hey everybody, my name is Ray. Today I'm checking out a place called Waterloo Village. Now this is a preserved historic village along the Morris Canal. The Morris Canal, it runs from Jersey City to I believe Phillipsburg. And this village was like the midway point along the canal. So people who had to make a two day trip, they could stop here overnight. So it's just, it's sitting here, it's preserved and we can walk around and check it out. So now I came here on a school field trip years ago and I really don't remember it very well. I remember there was sort of a, a Lenape village scene set up and that was what I was there to see. I don't remember going to the historic town parts. Coming up here, it looks like we have the church and the cemetery. Let's look at some of these headstones. 1796 to 1862. So they're pretty old. What does that say? 1878. Down there, 1869. Look at these with all the moss growing on them. Eighteen seventy-three to nineteen oh five. Just a little more recent than some of the ones I've seen. Oh, look at this one. Up here we have this big obelisk. Pretty impressive. So here we have the church, and it looks like they still hold services here. It's still very nice, very well preserved. So this body of water we're looking at, that's completely frozen, is part of the Morris Canal. Now back there they have a silhouette of a man with two horses, to kind of show you what a man working on the canal would have looked like. But look at that. It's complete frozen sheet right now. So it's winter now, it's cold here in New Jersey. Um, not a lot of people out. I think I'm all alone in this place right now, which makes it kind of kind of eerie, but pretty cool. So hopefully we'll have a fun day today, checking this place out. Yeah, so this frame gives you a little more information about the town itself. So apparently when they decided to build a canal, uh, this man, Peter Smith, came here with his family and set up a store, kind of turned this place into a commercial hub along the canal. Pretty interesting. So right up on the hill, we got some Really nice houses. We got that stone building there. We have this one, which is really pretty, but I think that's someone's residence, so I'm not gonna go snoop around it like I do. And then we have that place right there, which is also very cool looking. Yeah, so this store right here, this was the general store. Look at that. I don't think it's open right now. Love to go in there. Let's take a closer look at this house. This is awesome right here. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look up there, there is a werewolf in that window. Looks like uh, Halloween decorations that they forgot to take down. Let's go up here on the porch and see what we can find. Looks like we got some spooky little dolls there. All kinds of stuff in there. Oh, just look at the, the cracked paint on this door. That's amazing. Just, just look at that mural. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Yeah, let's get another look at that. Wow. So cool.
Looks like we got another spooky, scary skeleton right there. It's so pretty here. So everything's so nice. Just look at that view of the water. Looks like you can see there, there's um, stone on either side. Must have been uh, old foundations for a bridge or something at some point in history. So this little shop here is a blacksmith shop. Let's see if we can uh, see what's in the window. I don't know if we're going to be able to. It's kind of dark. Yeah, but you see all that blacksmith equipment? I'll have to come back here when it's open and they're running tours. Maybe next year. Just over on the side, they got all these old barrel rings. That's pretty neat. Blue Heron. So right here we have this bridge over the water and as you can see it is in pretty rough shape. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be crossing that one today. So it might be a little hard to read but this area they invented this inclined plane system with a hydraulic powered uh, sort of pulley system to lower uh, barges up and down from the water. Pretty unique engineering feat. Would have been incredible to see that back in the day. So I don't think that area is accessible, but if you look at that gap in between the trees, you can see where the inclined plane system was. Look at that. That is so cool. I don't think there's any way to go over there. That's incredible. Yeah, and here we are looking at what must have been some sort of a bridge or path over the water. Right here we have what looks like to be some sort of canal lock system. Nineteen nineteen. So this is a, a lot newer than some of the places I've been to. Still pretty old though. And I'm still glad it's here today and we can come see it. So I can safely say that I don't recall any of this from my school field trip years ago. Maybe I just wasn't interested in this sort of thing back then or maybe we just didn't go over to this part. But um, I have no memory of any of this so this is the first time for me and hope it's the first time for you and I hope you're enjoying this video. So this building looks like a sawmill perhaps. Let's go take a closer look. Down there, you can see a water wheel, and there's water flowing down below. Might be a little hard to see, and um, it's fenced off, and I'm not gonna go past it. Back there, you can see some sort of, uh, some sort of bandsaw, it looks like. I just saw this old pulley equipment. Let's go walk over on this side and take a look at this stuff. Look at that bell. So this was a grist mill. And it looks like up here there's still a wheel. Let's go get a look at that. I apologize, I'm sinking in the snow as I'm walking over to this. Look at that. And then right here we have the gear for it. Do you think I can lift that? Wow. Just look at that building. Kind of spooky haunted mansion vibe from that. So this place is huge. It's an entire town still preserved. Um, reminds me a lot of my trip to Batstow Village down in the Pine Barrens. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a lot like this one. You'll really like it. We got this house here. All the paint cracking away on the side. Kind of spooky looking. Pretty cool. Let's go take a look at that. Just look at all how you can see that 
that mortar underneath it. What's inside? Hmm, looks like some chairs. This place is incredible looking. Look at that old candle holder. How cool is that? Wow. Just look at this one. And just look up top at the chimneys. You can see sort of an iron S shape up top there as sort of a decoration. This place is awesome. Look at this window with all these cobwebs on it. Oh, that's so spooky. I think they're using this building for storage. So this building here is without a doubt the most impressive looking one in this area. It's just a spooky, gothic looking sort of mansion. And I just, I love it. It's so cool. This is so cool. I just, I want to live here and be a creepy vampire. So I don't know if they have this place open for tours. I know right now they're not doing any tours because of everything going on. Doesn't look like there's much in there. They have these uh, sheets of plexiglass to uh, I guess cover up the broken windows here. And down here, you can see the railing on the porch is falling apart. This place is gorgeous. Wow. You see that fireplace? I would love to go in the cellar. Can't really see anything here. Oh, that's boarded. Never mind. Up, oh, I almost slipped. Wow. Look at that old stove. Look at that old railing. Wow. We got another really amazing looking one over here. Love all the cracked paint peeling off. This is awesome. Look at that. View of this place from the backside, you can see it's sort of uh, collapsing in, that it's in pretty rough shape. So this, um, this is a snubbing post. And you can see those grooves worn in it from using ropes tied around it. And this is from a canal in France 
which was surveyed by Leonardo da Vinci himself. Isn't that amazing? And over here, looks like we have some kind of rail and pulley system. And we have a big cleat, which was used to tie ropes around to secure the barges. And I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it's pretty cool. And right here is a museum, which I'd love to check out, but it's closed right now. Maybe it'll be open next year and I'll come visit for you. Right here we have what looks like a little church or maybe a schoolhouse or something. I'm not really sure. We got this building here, which is a lovely shade of gray and blue trim around it. Got a cool weather vane on top with a deer. Looks like it was some kind of, maybe a carriage house or something. Okay, so I found it. It looks like they do still have the Lenape village here. I'm very excited to go check this out. So the Lenape village is on this island here, and you can see up on that hill, there's some recreated longhouses. And it might be a little hard to see here, but there's like the framework of a longhouse in progress. And right over here is the bridge to get to it. Uh, unfortunately, it is closed right now, and I'm not gonna be able to go over there and show you. Uh, possibly in the future, I'll see about doing a guided tour of this place. I'd really like to come back here. I remember coming here when I was a kid, and you could go inside them, and there were wax figures inside, and they had all kinds of artwork and stuff. It was really cool. I'd love to come back. They do have this longhouse here. Can't go inside. We can take a walk around it. Pretty cool. I think this is supposed to simulate tree bark. So that was historical Waterloo Village. Really cool place. I had a lot of fun checking it out. Um, brought back memories of when I went on a field trip here. If you went on a field trip here and you want to talk about it, leave a comment down below. I'd love to talk about it with you. My name is Ray. My channel is Ray out there. Thank you for watching.